This is CPM Calculus Chapter 4 Review Number 17. Here we're asked to evaluate the integral from 4 to negative 2 of the absolute value of x minus 2 dx. Okay, so a quick sketch of this is going to help show me what's going on. Um, I know that uh, when we hit 2 over here, right, we hit the x-axis and it goes up like this, right, and to the left, it's going to be still positive and going up like this, kind of like a V-shape, right? At zero, we know this is going to be the height of two, right? Let me make this extend it out more because I want to look at um, negative one, negative two, negative three, all the way to negative four to see what we're going to be looking at here, right? So here is, um, oh, actually, I want to go negative 2 and positive 4, right? Because these are our boundary points. Negative 2 is here, and 4 is here. Okay? So when I evaluate this, um, the thing to note is I can go ahead and evaluate it just like this, or I can break it up. Well, first of all, the boundaries should be going from low to high. That's going to be easier for me to calculate. If I do it this way, I can still do it, but... Low to high is going to make it more um, understandable. So that's going to be negative from negative 2 to 4, right? Just swapping the boundary. So I'm going to make it a negative. Uh, that's an absolute value of negative, I mean, of x minus 2 dx, right? Well, if you look here um, on, at the graph, you can see that at x is 2, um, this changes from going down at one line, right, and becomes another line. The transition happens at x is equal to 2. Okay? So what that's going to help me do, if I want to plug this in and separate it, I can go ahead and write this as negative. I'm going to put um, a bracket here and go from negative 2, right, until 2 of absolute value of x minus 2. And then start again at 2 and go to 4 of absolute value of x minus 2 dx, right? I can break up the integral like this if I want and separate the two regions, right? Then it's going to give me two regions separately and the two integrals. Because I'm going to try to do this without a calculator. So this gives me negative of, well, I know that the absolute value of x minus 2 to the left of 2 is the same thing as just negative x minus 2, right? Because the absolute value I know here is going to be negative of this because if I plug in 2 being less than 2, like 1, 1 minus 2 is a negative, and the negative here is going to change it to be positive. So I know that it's going to be a positive value, and that putting a negative there makes it a positive value. Likewise, I know here above 2, right, when where x is greater than 2, x minus 2 is already, as is, without the absolute value, positive. So I could just take away the absolute value when we're looking at the region above 2. Okay? So I still have negative here, and then I have the integral from negative 2 to 2 of negative x. I'm distributing the negative, plus 2 dx, plus the integral from 2 to 4 of x minus 2 dx. Right? So now I can go ahead and evaluate this taking the antiderivative, right? The antiderivative of this is going to be negative x squared over 2 plus 2x from negative 2 to 2, plus the antiderivative of this is x squared over 2, 2 minus 2x from 2 to 4, right? I can go ahead and plug in 2, so it's going to be negative 2 squared over 2 plus 2 times 2, minus and plug in negative 2, negative of negative 2 squared over 2 plus 2 times negative 2, right? That's just this. Plus, and evaluate this one at 4, 4 squared over 2 minus 2 times 4, minus, evaluate it at 2, 2 squared over 2 minus 2 times 2, right? Closing that, that bracket. So then we have Negative 2 squared, so that's negative 4 over 2 is negative 2, plus 2 times 2 is 4, minus negative of 2 squared over 2 is 4, negative 4 over 2 is negative 2, 
plus negative 4, right? This is negative 4. Plus 4 squared is 16 over 2 is 8, minus 8, minus 2 squared is 4 over 2 is 2, minus 4. Right? Now I'm just kind of simplifying and getting the answer. 2 plus 2, I mean negative 2, excuse me, plus 4 is 2, minus negative 2 plus negative 4 is negative 6. Negative 8 and positive 8 cancel out. Minus 2 plus minus 4 is negative 2. All right. This gives me a positive here, a positive here. I have 2 plus 6 plus 2. So that's 10. All right. Don't forget the negative here. So that's negative 10. And remember, we're looking at the area. So it's in units squared. Okay. So this is evaluating the integral from CPM Calculus Chapter 4 Review, number 17.